Well, I'm back uh, you know, in the Enchanter formerly known as Tecmos Deception for another uh, installment of soloing as IXP on No Man here. Um, oh man, I missed my name. The worst part by far of uh, getting my old Enchanter banned among other characters uh, is that I don't have my old name anymore. No Man is just just doesn't hold up a candle to uh, Tecmo's Deception. Um, I think I picked I picked No Man in reference to uh, Odysseus after he blinded the Cyclops. Um, and he told him his name was No Man, so that way when the Cyclops tried to yell that he had been uh, blinded, he said, No Man has done this to me. Very clever, I know. I really miss Tecmo's. Although, if we ever have a new P99 server, that is actually not the name I will use for a new enchanter on a new P99 server. I have my name of choice uh, different, but I'm not going to reveal it. Somebody will steal it. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I finally remembered to go turn on logging in my INI file. And when I went to go do that, I remembered that on my desktop, which is where I make videos, I still am seeing new elemental models and I don't understand why because every like when you go in when you start the game and uh, when you start EverQuest and you look at the you know click the options button in, on the home screen or whatever instead of login you click options it pops up and it you know lets me pick advanced character models or whatever none of them are selected but I still see these Lucelin era Lucklin however you want to say it era models, and it's driving me nuts. I really want the little floating turds from Classic EQ, but I don't know how to get them. It's already clicked off, and so if anybody happens to hear this complaint and uh, knows how to fix it, I would love to hear it. On my laptop, I have all the old models on, um, and it makes me very happy to see them, and it makes me very mad every time I see the new models on the desktop. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm planning on going into Hulling Stones West, I've never been in there at level 54 before. I think probably like 56 is the earliest I've been in there. And I definitely haven't tried to kill the named until 59 or so, maybe. I don't remember what level I killed him on the Solo Artist Challenge. So I think it'll be all right. The stuff in there is only generally like a level higher than the stuff in North, maybe two levels higher than the stuff in North, I think. Um, and charms last forever on this level 45 stuff in North, so as long as stuff's only like, the trash is only like level 47, maybe even 48, it won't be bad. If it gets higher than that, then I'll have lots of charm breaks, which is uh, the only thing that really can get me killed overall when I'm not fighting summoners, because a charm break when I'm trying to pull and I don't have multiple mobs rooted yet, that, that'll, that can get me killed. But, um... But yeah, it should be interesting. We'll see if I can get all the way to the back and uh, try to get a key for south already. Not that I'll be going into south soon. I've got a few other videos I want to make first. <coughs> Excuse me. Dramas is still plugging away on his enchanter. He claims he's leveling it up for no reason other than to be able to enchant metal for his blacksmith cleric. But... Every time I point out that, oh, hey, if you get one more level, you'll get an extra mana buff, you know? So he's like, ugh. <laughs> I think he's a glutton for punishment soloing at level 53 in the Dreadlands. I had, um, I had a couple people ask me questions the other day, or mention things to me in tells, just like, as I was on, um, soloing, not not making a video um, and I'm trying to remember what the questions were that I wanted to mention on my next video. Oh, one of them was um, somebody uh, Nazdormu uh, sent me a tell and just wanted to tell me like that he liked my videos whatever and that uh, but he mentioned that he actually made his enchanter I think it was him I think he said he made his enchanter after watching a video of me on my old enchanter and now he's 60 and geared and like in a raid guild and everything. And uh, I got a kick out of that because that's exactly why I made my enchanter. When in like the middle of Kunark, 
Um, when, like in the middle of Kunark, Lorraine was making, who plays Sakuragi and Rave, some other characters of his. Um, hold on a sec, let me get this figured out. And then I'll... Anyway, he, um, he is what inspired me to make an enchanter because the idea of the solo artist challenge sounded great to me. I had just sold my bard, which was, you know, legal back then, um, and had like a few hundred thousand plat, and I had made a, I tried a few different alts, like I twinked a shaman, I twinked a monk, I twinked a uh, rogue. The rogue was the one that I had stuck with the most, um, but it was killing me because I was above 50 at this point, and even with like a fungi and epic and everything, it was brutal to try and XP solo, and I hate being reliant on groups because when I want to get on and play, I want to get on and play. I don't want to get on and sit around and wait for somebody to have a spot for me. I don't want to get on and try to track down people from all over the planet of Norath to try and get together to group with. I hate doing that shit. So I'm, you know, between that and seeing the solo artist challenge and seeing all the sweet stuff that Lorraine especially, but also some of the other enchanters save, um, were doing, it made me want to make an enchanter. So Tecmos was born. And whenever my rogue didn't find a group, I got on Tecmos and uh, solo. And then, you know, the rest is history, I guess. Um, so, but yeah, I got a kick out of, and this isn't the first time somebody's mentioned it, that watching these videos convinced them they wanted to make an enchanter because it looked like fun. And so it was just uh, fitting that that's what inspired me to start playing enchanters. I played one on live, but I never had played one on P99. I figured, well, I've played lots of different characters, you know, on live. I might as well try something new that wasn't my main on live, and that was what my logic was on P99 through Classic and half of Kunark, and then I finally made the Enchanter and regret that I didn't make one earlier. Um, what was the other thing? Somebody somebody had asked me about... Um, somebody had asked me if I do, like, if I have retakes on my videos or if I edit my videos or something like that. I don't edit my videos at all. Whatever whatever you watch when... I don't know why I'm even fighting this stuff. It's I guess it's 6P. I just need to go downstairs and get my corpse, or pull it up here and, and grab the key that I got from Wes the other day. But, um... You know, what you see on these videos is what I do. I, I don't think that I have a video yet where I tried to do one and then I either died or I just didn't like it and decided I would um, start a new one and... and upload the new one instead. I don't think I've done that yet. I can't remember for sure. Some of my older videos are were a lot older. You know, I um, have been doing this over the course of several months um, this year. Sorry, I keep getting distracted and I'm trying to talk while I'm playing. Um, so yeah, I don't edit my videos. I haven't restarted any. Um, I do try to keep they aren't perfectly representative of, like, my solo play, I guess, because I do try to keep things lively, active on these videos, whereas when I'm soloing, dang it, I'm not hesitant to uh, AFK for 10 minutes, even if I'm already at full mana, while I, you know, get triggered by a, a meme on Facebook or something, um, or I'll log in and out a lot to do stuff around the house as I get bored. Um, you know, <laughs> like I've said, I, I enjoy solo play because it lets me play how I want, when I want, and there's no lying about that. Um, I, I'm probably a little more conservative besides taking random AFKs now and then when I'm uh, making videos because I don't... I'm averse to dying anyways, but I really don't want to die when I'm trying to do these videos. Um... Because it, you know, it's so slow. It's not fun to watch. Uh, but so far, I haven't ever had an issue with a video that was so terrible. I decided I wasn't going to upload. People like to say that you know enchanters are. Good Lord, I'm. West might be interesting if I'm not more in control of myself while I'm trying to talk. Um, you know, the typical line about enchanters is that. Sure, they're really powerful, but they're really, they look, 
live on a razor's edge and they're always a step away from death. There's some truth to that, but I have like 12 hours of videos up on, you know, YouTube now where I'm, you know, soloing not necessarily the most difficult things I could be doing at any given level. But given that my gear is mediocre at best, and, you know, I am like almost exclusively in closed in dungeon spots, not, you know, soloing outside where I've got Spirit of Wolf and, you know, it's basically impossible to die. Um, you know, there's only some truth to the fact that enchanters walk on a thin line between life and death all the time. If you're doing everything right and you're being a little careful about positioning and what you're pulling and everything, you can go a long time without dying. I haven't died in Howling Stones yet, I don't think. I've had it out twice. Which, you know, kind of the equivalent of dying, but not quite. Um, and I've come close a number of times where I was down under 20%, but got control of the fight, managed to get Bedlam and or Berserker Spirit and Rune back up. So it gets close sometimes, and I've had it out twice. Hats are awesome. You know, 20 minutes to recharge it and 200 plat is a lot better than being dead in the bottom of this zone and trying to find a cleric to come res you. Um, so I'm going to kill one of these guys and I'm going to leave the other one alive and I'm going to use him to break the next room because um, I do not want to be trying to lull stuff in the next wing, unless I absolutely have to, without um, a pet to distract things if a lull fails. I don't want to get harm touched for 500, you know, a few times. It's bad enough getting harm touched for 420. Uh, so I'm gonna let this let this pet regenerate after I kill this one golem while I grab my key for west. I think I'm facing west, and. Um, Then I will uh, use him to break into the next, the, the first room here. have a while left on them. I'll wait until uh, I'll wait until I need to recast them because I'll probably have something in West that I can mana tap to help speed up the process of waiting for rebuffs. Ah, coffee. I think that's the key for West. spells for level 55 on me, so that when I ding... Well, I actually have a couple spells that are at level 55 that I hadn't picked up yet. Where are you, Allure? I don't need Boltrons yet, but... I don't even use Allure yet. Ooh, I'm gonna have to use Allure in this wing, though. I didn't think about that. I think there's enough stuff in West that I'll be using Allure instead of Cajuling Whispers. I'm not gonna use Gamera of Kintaz ever. Oops, that's a 55 spell. Oh. Bear with me for a moment here. Where are you, Swift Like the Wind? Go away. Okay. Anyways. We've got that sorted out. Fire up my gnome illusion. I should have probably <laughs> gone and got... I bought some stalking probes um, to use the little trick to get through locked doors in the event that I lose my key inside the wing. Um, but I don't have them with me. Hopefully I don't die in here. I unfortunately will be willing to hat out if I have to. I don't want to die in here. Although, really, it's not the worst thing ever. I mean, I can charm pretty effectively while, um... 
I can charm pretty effectively while naked, and I can always harass Dramas into coming out here and healing me, if nothing else, while I corpse run. Oh, oblations. Cool. So that guy's a necromancer instead of a... instead of a... Uh, wizard, which sucks. hate dotting classes. Can't mess stuff that's dotted. Can't see if I'm aggroing him or not. But I need to be able to... See, I'm going to get this guy targeted, so that way if I do get a lull fail, I can... Um, I can't see him anyways. But if I get a lull fail, I can... Um, send my pyre golem after the uh, the one that's going to harm touch me, at least. So that I don't eat a harm touch. Come on. There we go. So now I'm going to pull the other two out of here. With my pet, and I'll fight them out in the open. see what level they are here in a second after my pet gets him locked down a little bit. I'm laggy as hell right now. I don't understand it. Let's see what these fellas are heading for. 120 is a 45, so they're only 45. Basically the same level as the highest level stuff in north. I'll be trying to get full XP for most of this stuff along the way here. It kind of slows down the process of crawling through the wing and getting to the final boss, but I do want the XP, so... If I get to the boss room and I'm dealing with him, I'll be letting stuff die back in that room and letting pets eat experience and stuff so that I can stay ahead of the respawns, but... Hmm. It'll be interesting if I fight that guy. He'll be the first summoner that I fought on No Man. Intentionally. I guess I... No, no, I haven't aggroed the East Pathor. He'll be the first summoner I've fought on No Man. And, um... Summoning has changed since the last time I dealt with it. Now that Root doesn't keep summoners focused on your pet, they'll still try to summon whoever is highest on the aggro list, which it will usually be me, of course. I did bring some Null Hide Lariats in case I feel like using those to uh, help my pet kick something's ass, though, so... Um, that'll probably do it. Oh, I guess I didn't have as long on my shielding and shadow spell as I thought I did. But yeah, the uh, Null Hide Lariat should keep aggro on my pet even if I'm not using Brute at all. I'm almost out of coffee. Shield of the Magi is my second slot. I really need to get some junk buff items because it sucks when something goes to dispel you and it clears off like your charisma buff while you've got something charmed and your Shield of the Magi. Pain in the buff to recast, a pain in the butt to recast them, and then they also 
you know, are pretty important buffs to the whole process of playing. But, uh... Good on buffs, just got to throw Berserker Spirit back up. I'll probably lull the the oblation, charm the other one, use him to kill it. Hmm, getting close to being out of 54. Level 54 sucks. Um, it's like it's not twice. I mean, it's technically it's called it's called a double hell level, right? 54 and 59 are double hell levels. Everything else, 51 plus, is a hell level. Just like 30, 35, 40, 45. Um, I don't think it actually takes twice as much XP as 53 does, but it's pretty rough. 54 has caused me to take long breaks from the game a couple of times before in the past. Although this time I only took a few days off. For whatever reason, I suddenly felt like replaying Bioshock, but I only played for like three hours one night. And then I was like, eh, oh well. Came back to EQ. I'm gonna see if that's an instant click. I don't remember if it is or not. Leave my hat in there. Oh, I got this fancy robe off the Crypt Keeper too when I got my key for West. Very fancy. I'll give it away. Sell it for like 50 plat to somebody. Well, that guy was a harm toucher, I thought. Mm. I'm gonna play it safe, keep some distance between me and getting harm touched. So low to the ground, I'm not gonna be able to hit them with spells <laughs> if they get a resist. Well, let's find out if I'm actually going to have how much I'm actually going to have to use Allure and how much often I can get away with Catchling Whispers. Allure has a little bit of a long... I'll just keep using Allure, I think. This can hit 46s, but I know there's stuff in here that's level 47. Probably not worth the 50 mana pop to get it wrong sometimes, so we'll just keep Allure loaded. need to fight basically on top of these dudes on account of the fact that my pet's going to get dotted. I'm not going to try to interrupt all of them. So what happens if, if charm breaks, I'll be sitting right there so my pet won't move away from the oblation and I'll just fire off a stun, root him, then back up. Probably mez the oblation before he... Um, Dots me to hell. And then, uh, set like right here, like this. And then I can recharm my pet while he's rooted off of me, because I mean, I can't stun him, mez him, charm him, like I like to when um, he's dotted. So, I make things work a little differently. Not a big difference. If I use my newest stun, which I probably should get in the habit of doing, actually. Oh, this guy is a wizard. I thought he was a necromancer. Huh. All right, well, that's nice, anyway. The Helot, Helot skeletons are the necros. I guess they're in south and east instead of west. Um, if I start using my new stun, which is actually it's kind of mana-intensive compared to the other ones, which is why I don't like it. Oh, oh. What the hell was that? Fingers on the wrong spot on my numpad. Anyways, um, oh, what was I saying? Oh, if I started using my my newest stun, it has a half second longer cast, I think, and it costs a lot more mana. But it um, it stuns for long enough that you can cast Cajoling Whispers or Boltrons during the stun without having to mez also. But Allure has a longer cast time 
and the stuns I'm using are shorter duration, so they don't work that way. It's not good though. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Fiddling around too long trying to get my positioning just right. Lost myself half of kill. Uh, I hope this doesn't kill him. I really want to suck his man out before I finish him off. Oh well. So the layout of west is pretty similar to north. You go through here and there's a little bit of a little zig sentient pile up over there. And then it comes around this way. And there's a hallway that goes over here. There's a, I think a named can spawn in that room. It's the same named as in north, except for the final boss is different. But you also lack one of the names from north or something like that. That's better. I don't know. West is not a good spot to go for drops. Not that North is. But, um... A little better XP, I guess, because stuff's a little higher level. But this keeps going around over here. You can see that carpet there is a pit trap. Right around this little broken down ledge, there's a back room that... That's where the key that drops... On, or that sits on the ground that I need to get into the boss room is. And there's also name spawns in there. This hallway stretches down this way. And you can see it drops down right here, so you can't get back up without levitate. And then it, this area loops around. There's a bunch of rooms in a big hallway, and in the back, way back here, is the final boss that I'm going to go visit. I should have kept that guy charmed and used him to go through this wall, but instead I'll just take my chances with... Uh, well, maybe I will if I can get my vision right here. Just trying to target this one guy. I can't see what I'm looking at here. Oh, they're just they're too far away. And even if you turn off your inventory window, you still can't quite click these guys. Oh, there he is. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. So I'm gonna use bind sight. Be extra careful. Demonstrate how awesome it is to get my sight to lull. I don't think Drumas has watched my videos ever because he complains about enchanter problems all the time, but they're problems that I like talk about fixing <laughs> and how to avoid all the time in my videos. I must be standing to cast a spell. Of all the enchanter spells to unmem when you need to cast a buff, your CC ones. Not, in my opinion, the best ones to, to uh, unmem. Okay. I hope I don't come across as cocky. I guess I am cocky. I hope I don't come across as overly cocky. <laughs> I I know that I'm I don't know everything and that I do stupid things a lot on my enchanter and some of the things I do don't make sense. Um, but I like to think that I do have a pretty good grasp of what's going on on <laughs> enchanters and uh, it seems like it's a common criticism of me. Um, you know, I said that some people, I have some haters. Yeah, their criticism usually is, I watched this video, he thinks he's hot shit. Blah, 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 blah. I, I can play an enchanter too, I just don't make videos and talk about it. Well, so what? Go fuck yourself, I don't give a shit. Um, that's the usual criticism I get of people who think I'm 
in uh, listening to myself talk and making videos, I must think I'm so much better than everybody else. Well, I might think I'm better than everybody else, but so what? Holy cow. Oh, I was going to say my pet isn't destroying this stuff, but I was looking at the wrong stuff. My pet's actually getting wrecked. And he's not killing them evenly. It's just a pain. Trick is, I don't know how often I'm going to be able to pull off anarchy kills in here, because stuff does more damage. And stuff has more hit points. It's harder to get stuff low enough to finish it off with anarchy. But it shouldn't be a problem to finish them off with Discord Mind, at least. Save myself a little bit of mana compared to Dementia. I'm going to charm this guy, let him just kill the Spectre, and then I'll use him on the next mob in the hallway or something, too, probably. Come on, what's going on here? Usually stuff aggroes when it's rooted next to something else right away. I thought that there was going to be... I need to re him. I thought there was going to be something that passed around this corner in the process of fighting here, but I don't know if I'm just... if it's a slow route, or if I was mistaken, but I'm surprised nothing has come over here and aggroed me yet. Jesus Christ. I just realized I didn't buy more. Oh, I got a lot of Paradots left, though. I realized I didn't buy more Paradots when I went to the bank to pick up spells. Jumas using game text trigger. Oop. Myself. Game text triggers for his mezzes. I've tried that. Couldn't be bothered. <laughs> it was annoying. Maybe I'll finish these guys off and just met up before the next fights. My pets doesn't have enough hit points to really buy me enough time to pull a room or something like that. He'd die before. die before um, I had a chance to get stuff AOE mezzed or whatever. Well, that guy I <laughs> could have finished off with an anarchy. Recast of uh, Berserker Spirit in Rune 5 in the middle of the fight with nothing to. Uh oh, gonna get arm touched. I'm gonna AoE Mez because I don't know. I don't trust this Golem to behave himself. see about keeping this guy the skeleton mezzed and sucking his mana for a little while. I don't think Dementia's going to finish him, but... Son of a bitch. Well... I'm <laughs> dead. <laughs> I uh, was definitely targeted on the wrong skeleton when I cast that mez. Well, you can harass Drumas to bring his cleric over and res me. Well, 
That's what I get for uh, talking about how effective I am at soloing in my videos without restarting or dying and get myself killed. If I um, die often enough over here, I might be able to convince him to just leave a cleric <laughs> inside Howling Stones. He's got th two, plus his buddy's cleric, I think, who doesn't play anymore. What the hell am I looking for, stuns? Got out of, got rusty with my locations and my spells. I'll just kill some stuff in the entrance while I wait for Drumaz to come over. I mean, I only lost 5% of my level, but I still... I can't get over losing XP, even if... Uh, boy, it's hard, even like when I played a bard before they nerfed bard kiting. You know, it's hard to... Uh, it's hard to get past the fact that you lost XP that you had already earned. Even if the opportunity cost of waiting to get a res and having a res timer is you could have earned more XP than you lost in the same amount of time it took you to get the res anyways. It's still hard to get over. But, uh... He'll come res me up. Mm. Ooh, that guy was tough. 132. That's level, uh, 48. So the stuff in, um, west is definitely couple levels higher than uh, north, like I thought. The lowest I've seen in there so far is 45, so probably 45 to 48 is the trash, and then the, most of the names are 50, and the final boss is 51. I just had to let that nuke finish to finish off that stupid bile. If I would have, uh, I wasn't really, I didn't really notice that it, uh, that ad popped up, actually. I don't know what I was looking at. I think I might have been reading the tells from Dumas. Because um, I definitely did not recognize that skeleton come running at me right away. I was, like, already harm-touched by the time I realized it. And by the time I reacted to him, I, I was, like, already, already finished the nuke on the bile and was waiting to... Uh, die right again inside the entrance here as I go in. Boy, I keep hitting three. Try and reset my cast times, but I'm naked. if he can res me inside the wing so that I don't have to get the key off my corpse to get back into west. That'll be nice if I can do that. Then I can... <coughs> <laughs> Shit. Assholes. I'm gonna die again. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna have enough time to get that mez off. Um, without a clicky in between my uh, my stun and my mez, I didn't think I was going to have enough time. But apparently, there was just enough <laughs> to squeeze it by squeeze it in. Yikes! Get wrecked in here, huh? Serves me right.
I don't have a lot of room to work with here either because those guys are respawn. So I'm going to have to deal with this feaster when charm wears off without getting myself killed with him. Oh yeah, what, what, what are you going to do? Drew Moss is coming over. He'll res me a couple times if I, he needs to. He's a good fella like that. Uh, to elaborate on my plan, what I'm thinking is I will... Uh, oops. Oh, I can't even break my invis because I'm naked. Son of a... <laughs> I get so used to having gear that I forget what it's like to try and play without it. Although it's still, you know, enchanters are still pretty effective without any gear. Uh, a few things change. So I'm going to help my pet win. Maybe. Maybe I'm just going to let him die. Anyway, my plan is I'll... Mm, no, it's not going to work. My hope was that I was going to be able to drag my body... Oh no, I, it will work. So I'm going to drag my body out of west, because I'm not far enough in there. That'll be stuck. Um, I'm going to drag my body out of west, loot the key, go back into west with my body, drag it back in, and then have Dramas target my body through the wall or through the door to res me, so that when I accept the res, I'm going to reappear in west, but without having... No, fuck, that won't work, because I have to loop my key to drag my body back in there. Ugh. My mind's not working well today, apparently. Anyway, never mind. Never mind. Thought I was having a clever, clever idea. Not so much. Let me clear these mobs up here. While I wait for him to get over here. slows things down. I need to put one in my bank for corpse run purposes. Actually, I might have my telescope in there already. On Tecmos, um, you know, I spent a lot of time, most of my soloing, probably like 75% of it was in Hollingstone South. And so, um, corpse running into there could be quite nasty because there's a mix of stuff that's undead, so you can't invis past living, so you can't invis for sun dead past. And then there's even those stupid little slimes that see through invis and are living, so you can't get past them with either. So you have to do a lot of calming to get into the wing without fighting a ton of stuff um, in order to do a corpse run. Unless you manage to die in a very specific spot so that you can drag your body out without fighting your way in. Uh, but uh, So I got to the point where I started keeping backup cheap but effective charisma gear in the bank and food and water in the bank so that, you know, if I die and I'm dead for a while or if my corpse run's going to take a while, I don't get to the point where I'm hungry and thirsty so that I don't regen mana. And I've got, you know, basic wisdom slots, so rings, wrists, earrings, you know, wand offhand, just so that, um, you know, I can do lulling 
sa pretty safely anyways on my way back into my corpse because that extra you know an extra 70 charisma for only you know a thousand plat worth of gear that you store in your bank for when you really need it goes a long ways to keeping you alive um, when you're calming on a corpse run oh good thing I noticed that because Berserker Spirit's definitely down, and I do not have uh, enough hit points to survive getting beat on right now. Oh, my pet must have been blurred. You regen some, it looks like. The worst part about playing an enchanter solo is you don't have the components in your inventory to cast runes, which is something you need all the more when your hit points are so low and your charisma is low. But, yeah, another thing to keep in the bank, Paratots. There's Dramas. I tell you, it's just not my morning, apparently. just cast a nuke without moving from that spot. How did I suddenly not... Well, I guess I could have knocked him back with the nuke since I couldn't see him. Alright, that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know which corpse that's going to target. If that's going to... Pain in uh, trying to target corpses is okay. That's the right one. No, <laughs> there's no way that's too far away. Wait a minute. There's no way that corpse was too far away to drag. too far away to drag. It's right on the other side of that wall. Hmm. It must just barely be too far. I wonder if I can grab it from over there. gonna make it. Well, I grabbed it anyways. Now I just have to see if I can land and go hit that portal without getting killed.
apparently nothing's here. Sometimes you'll get problems right there. Um, with pathers not appearing or not being visible. See if I can land a buff on myself as I get rest. I'm not very good at it anymore. No, I've never been very good at it. Yes! Victory! If you time it just right, you can accept a res and cast a buff on yourself at the same time. So that you can save yourself seven seconds of metting before you can cast a buff that very Well, at least whatever he's casting on me won't be in my top slot. Oh, there you go. That'll make it a little safer. Okay. Anyways. I'm going to have to loot the, the key back up to get into West after all. I was trying to think of some scheme whereby I'd be able to get into West while still keeping this on a corpse so that I don't have to corpse it again to keep it after I go in there this time. But, um, yeah, the scheme wasn't going to work. So, Anyways, you're going to see me try to break into West again since, um, you know, all that happened. <laughs> this video is already longer than most of mine, and I haven't made it hardly stepped into the, my... Uh, my destination before I died. I guess I can keep going for a longer video. I would like to get 55 here this morning. Um, so I'll, I'll head back in there. I'll just... Um, what I'll probably do is... is um, is uh, keep one of the mobs from the entry area just inside the wing. Um, charmed instead of killing. I'll probably I'll pull three of them out here and kill three of them. Leave the fourth in there and then use him as a pet to... Um... No, that won't work either because I think... I don't think mobs will come through that wall. Um, if I try to like... If I send a pet through that, that fake wall and then try to back him off, he won't just run back through the wall, uh, which would be lovely. He will... He will end up uh, pathing around a long way and trying to fall down a pit or something, you know, something dumb. I, I can try it, but that's what happens in North, anyways. They end up pathing funny and they end up out in this area where I am now before they get back to the wing, and that won't work. I'm trying. I was just trying to think of a way I could kill those two mobs that are right inside the entrance without having to get surprised by those two pathers. Fortunately, I had already dealt with that extra spawn. Or maybe I didn't. I got lucky, I guess, that the second bile that was in the corner, so I killed, I had the two things I was fighting, and then there was a third static spawn in the corner, and then two different pathers that came around that corner, too. Um, I got lucky, it looks like, and never had, and didn't get that, that bile that was in the corner directly aggroed through anyway, so um, I didn't get trained with two mobs at a time, but anyway... I'll figure out some way to deal with them without getting myself killed. You know, maybe. I'm gonna forego some of my buffs for now until I have a chance to theft of thought something. And for now, I'll just throw up the essentials to start clearing in there. Ego really makes up for uh, a lot, so 
the fact that I don't have shadow and uh, I don't even know if I can stack shadow with ableism. Um, shielding stacks, but it's not really a big deal. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a pet from out here right now to help me be a little safe with calm. Uh, it's probably a good idea to get one. I, I will do that right now. I will use one of these guys to protect me while I lull my way back into west again. Oh, I still have res effects, Jesus. I thought I... Oh, it must not have sent through. <laughs> I must have sent the text and it just didn't go through or something. Sometimes I feel bad for being antisocial. Sometimes, not very often. I almost always hit random people that I see with a clarity too. And I'm generally nice to people as long as they keep the hell out of my way. Um, but I definitely am never <laughs> feeling very inclined to, to group with random people that I see or talk to. It's just my uh, introversion bleeding through. I have a handful of friends that I like and that I've had for a long time. I don't see any need to uh, experiment with getting to know new people. Okay, guard. Oh god. Man, my stomach's rumbling. You can probably be able to hear it through the fucking mic. It's so loud. Three harm touchers in there. Who will be, let's see, bring my pet a little closer. A little bit of interdiction in case I get a crit lull fail. One down. Stop spazzing out, Pat. You're driving me nuts. Got my pet following me again. I'm gonna back him out to this platform like I did last time when I was clearing. Between this guy being a caster and trying to speed things up a little bit, I'm just going to let my pet die. Try to remember to use the right charm spell. Too far away. Oh well. Pets root won't last too much longer. Ooh, wow, resist. 
flat out resist on a route even after Tosh shows that I'm fighting something that's fairly high level compared to me. Um, oops. No. Um. Well, like I said before, I try to keep things lively in my videos. This one is proving to be one of the less busy, what with my death and all. Nearly two deaths. But, uh, fortunately, Drew Moss was on and around, so he sped things up. Did he just camp out here, or did he gate out? Probably get myself killed again messing around trying to look. He might have just camped out here. That'd be nice of him. No, oh, I really was hoping that this bile was going to get beat up because I want to. I want to theft the thought again. But I guess if he has enough juice left in him, I can send him after the next two skeletons, and he can soak their harm touches while I get things. In. Oh, there we go. I didn't think it was going to be that quick. Cool. This will work. This bile must be tough. It's forty-seven. Miss, 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 miss. There you go. Get these two a little closer together. So, probably my biggest danger here in West is going to be that once I start dealing with this stuff that's a little higher level, I'm greatly increasing the likelihood of my roots breaking early. And when my roots break early, that's what's trouble, because something that, you know, I'm going to end up getting, um, you know, stuff's not going to be rooted before, like in this situation, like if I send my pet in and I get one thing rooted but then charm breaks before my pet can get both of them figured out, or before I can get both of them locked down, you know, it's just going to get me beat up. Uh, I'm going to let my pet die again because I don't want to... Oops, didn't realize this guy was loose. Don't know how long Root's got left in this guy, so I'm going to mez him before I reach arm. <laughs> this, one of these skeletons is level 48 again, so I'm going to... What's important when you <clears throat> can't rely on Root as much is relying on Mez more, because when a Mez sticks, you have a set duration of hard CC. Uh, shit. And, you know, even if, even if, um, you know, root wears off early, you're still okay, because, you know, you've got a set amount of time before the thing's gonna come beat the hell out of you. Um, boy, yeah, my roots don't want to stick at all. I guess that two-level jump might have been a bigger deal than I thought it was going to be coming in over here from... Um, well, I guess maybe it's more than two levels, though. The highest stuff you see in North Trash is... Come on, pet. <laughs> is um, 56, I guess. Over here, we're seeing 48s as the highest, but the lowest has been 45. I don't know. I guess it's only two levels, but... Um, it definitely seems so far like it makes a pretty big difference in terms of roots wearing off early, charms not lasting quite as long, stuff just plain hitting harder. Not so bad though. What's my defense at? 117. Quite a ways below max. I'm, I'm really curious how much of a difference the increased AC that I would have from Velius gear would make in terms of surviving. Uh, yikes. So, like, keeping this guy rooted a pain right now. 
then that's bad because eventually charm will break. And then if I have two things coming at me instead of just one, more likely I'm going to get interrupted when I try to stun them. I'm going to take more damage even if my stun goes off right away. Um, I can't use my single target mez because there's two things next to me. I'm not high enough level yet that my AoE mez um, is, I'm immune to it. So I need to be casting magic resist on myself really and that'd be trouble right now because I don't have shielding up either. That shit magic resist. If I have to use an AoE mez on these guys because Root and Charm both are off at the same time. I'm going to end up getting my. Um, I'm going to end up mezzing myself with an AOE mez probably, and uh, I have just enough time to cast this run out of mez range and mez. But it's very, it's a very close thing. Sometimes it won't work out. Sometimes the sun will wear off and they'll come beat me down before I finish the mez. So I need to put my magic resist spells up after these two, um, or consider using my longer cast stun dropping color flux entirely and using shift as five and slant as uh, the other one I don't really wanna I don't really wanna lose experience on these guys although I haven't got nukes ready for them While there is going to be a little more XP in here, fighting stuff that's... Jesus. Fighting this stuff that's a little higher, it's not going to be as much XP as the difficulty increases. Jesus. Get my ass kicked. Um, so, like, I wouldn't come to west to solo for better XP. North would be better XP, because it's so much safer. put me in a difficult situation. I'm either going to look like a dick if I tell this guy to get bent, or I'm going to um, be imposing on my buddy if I uh, <laughs> reveal his alt's identity to somebody who needs a res. Five is probably almost gone. I really probably should recast it before I'm breaking into a, the spot that killed me last time, huh? Holy cow. So, let's see about breaking into this spot again. Doubtful I'm going to last until I get to the back of this place now because of the delay here with my dying and all. But um, I'll try it. We'll, we'll see if I can make it up there. I think I decided that I can just barely target this guy over here. There he is. No, nope, maybe not. So fire up the old bite side again. So many tells. <laughs> watch this guy watches the video. 
sees Catastrophe's name, sees, sees that he just <laughs> flat out refuses to come res. <laughs> I guess I could blot out the boxes, but fuck that. Everybody knows I'm streaming, uh, doing videos. How did I manage to target this guy when I was clicking over by this guy? Anyways, well, let's see how this goes. I will only aggro one guy if this one fails. If this charm fails, then the elemental bone is going to assist. Calm. If this calm fails, the elemental bone will come too. Actually, I'm not sure what all would come. Uh, they might path crazy instead of coming right at me, as I mentioned before. That'd be an interesting thing to see. You might be seeing me hat out. Um, no. If I'm going to die in here again, if I'm if I'm not out of reach of west, I'm just going to die, because then I can um, at least leave my key on the corpse when I get rezzed again. Trumasu. Shit. Oh, son of a bitch. I don't know if this is going to mez me, but not. Shit. Well, at least I got... Come on, resist. I need to resist it. <laughs> oh boy. This is not nice. We'll see what happens here. mezzed and what's not. The calm's going to wear off pretty soon, too. This is too many things. I can't handle them. I'm not going to hat out, though. I'm going to gate. Well, West has bested me at level 54 for now. I might come back um, after I make 55 here in a little bit and try it. But, yeah. This little drop down's a pain in the ass. That was bad luck that both those, or the, the pather was coming around the corner just as I was sitting here. You pulled two things on me. But, um, I guess, well, no, it wasn't bad luck. It was me playing poorly. I could have kept an eye on things with Bind Sight. And, um, I could have kept an eye on things with Bind Sight and then seen, uh, you know, wait until they passed away before I tried to fight down there. Or I could have um, tried to see if I could have pulled stuff back without them pathing around. So, no, no, not bad luck, just me not planning things well. Uh, but, uh, piss me off. Oh well. I'll get to title this video that uh, West proved to be too much for me this time. Didn't even manage to make it more than like six kills into the, the wing before I either died or had to give up. <laughs> um, I'll go make 55 now. I don't know if I'll try west again right now or if I'll go do other zones first. Um, we'll see. Uh, thanks for watching though. You got to finally see a video where I was really struggling. Um, Dramas saves the day of course. I'll see you guys on the next video.